Thank you for watching WAFB Channel 9, Louisiana's news channel. This is Newsline 9 at 5 with Paul Gates, Brenda Braxton, and meteorologist Mike Graham. Good afternoon, I'm Donna Britt for Paul Gates. Minorities around the nation are taking note today of a Supreme Court ruling which cites reversed discrimination. The High Court told the city of Richmond, Virginia that it was unconstitutional for them to award a portion of all con construction contracts directly to minorities. It's a program known as minority set-asides. Now here in Louisiana, many of our state construction jobs also require that 10% of the work be set aside for minority contractors. Governor Romer says that based on the state's population, 10% is a fair amount. While many minority contractors say set-asides are the only way they can break into an industry dominated by whites, some say they would like to see all contractors compete openly as contractors, not as minorities. Basically, I, I don't try to encourage them to avoid set-asides because uh, that it, it would imposition me to say that it, you know I was totally against it or to try to turn anyone else against it. But uh, Frankly, personally, I, I, don't, I don't depend on set-asides, and if you can get a job out of a set-aside project, yeah, go after it. This Supreme Court ruling is likely to cause a fight in the Louisiana legislature. For years, there have been verbal exchanges between black and white legislators over whether a set-aside is reverse discrimination. Oyster fishermen from all over the state turned out this morning for a public hearing in Baton Rouge. They're angry about a 35 cent a sack surcharge the state plans to put on their catch. They say 35 cents may not sound like much, but over a period of a year, it can add up to a lot of money. Potential losses for the oyster industry in Louisiana. Fishermen say the only option would be to pass that cost on to the consumer, and they say that would hurt too. So we cannot take and go to the consumer and say, well, look, you're going to have to come up with more bucks. They're not going to do it. We may, we may be putting a, a, a burden on ourselves where people are going to back away from our product. We may really be putting ourselves in a very, very peculiar situation because people may back away from our product saying it's costing me too much money now. That 35 cent a sack fee was set to take effect tomorrow. However, after today's hearing, it's been postponed for a month for further study. More problems for nearly broke Tangipahoe Parish. Garbage has been piling up since the parish's private trash collection service went bankrupt last week. So today the parish government was forced to begin garbage pickup on its own using rented trucks. Providing garbage collection will cost the parish an estimated $32,000 a month. But the parish president said if he can't find a company to do it cheaper, he'll recommend that the parish continue to provide the service itself. Well, it's a possibility. We'll just have to look at the cost of it. And as you see, uh, they have made uh, the trip today where normally it would take two and they're not completely loaded yet. So I think we're going to be maybe a little bit more efficient in the pickup by having these larger trucks. For the time being, Tangipahoa officials have rented three garbage trucks for 30 days, but will begin advertising for bids from private collection firms. Governor Buddy Romer says electing former Klansman David Duke to the state legislature would not help Louisiana's national image. Romer says he would be very upset if Duke wins his runoff election against John Treen in Metairie. Duke led Treen, who is the brother of former Governor Dave Treen, with 33% of the vote. Duke, who left the Ku Klux Klan in 1980, says that if electing him is bad for Louisiana, then the U.S. Senate is bad for the nation. Duke claims Senator Robert Byrd is a former Klansman, but Byrd was unavailable for comment. The Duke train runoff is scheduled for February 18th. The first woman mayor pro tem spoke to the Nate to the Baton Rouge Press Club today. Councilwoman Linda Imes told the media today the first 21 days of the new Metro Council finds its members enjoying the luxury of an open door policy between the mayor's office and the council chambers. Imes contrasted that with the old administration. She told of an incident where she asked a city parish department head for some information a couple of weeks ago. And he said, well, I went to the mayor's office and I asked them if I could give you that information you asked for. And they said, yeah, you're a council member and you should get any information you wanted and you don't even have to come through the mayor's office. That's a big difference from what we had over the last four years, let me assure you. I'm said that kind of openness will allow the council to better be able to move forward with needed changes and improvements to the city. The Baton Rouge special education student who claimed she was beaten on a school bus will now get a taxi ride to and from classes. 
The mother of Kenya Nash says her daughter came home with bruises on her leg and back last week. She says Kenya was beaten up by another student. School officials have okayed the taxi ride for Kenya. Superintendent Bernard Weiss says his staff is aware of the case but would not offer any specifics. Coming up on Newsline, more bad news for the godfather of Seoul. We'll have the latest on his jailhouse jam. Most of you saw the Super Bowl yesterday, but only a few Southern California residents got an unscheduled pregame show. We'll explain straight ahead. Football broadcast to bring you a word or two from Bill of Century Southwest Cable Television. Take it away, Bill. Claude Akins, love your polygrip ads, but I use a powder adhesive for my dentures. Then try this, Super Polygrip Powder. One use holds up to 12 full hours. Get Super Polygrip Powder with 12-hour holding power. I'm dead tired. So why am I wide awake? Nitol will help you get your Z's. Nitol helps you feel drowsy so you can get your Z's. Nitol will help you get your Z's. Close encounters with...